All right, so I'm doing a little bit of a craft room reno. So we are going to take all of these natural wood things, except that one, um, and we're going to paint them white. So I'm going to start getting them all ready to go out to be spray painted. Okay, so I started right here, which had a cool drawer right here, and then my 6 by 6 paper holder. And so as I do that, you notice I uh, have a lot of stuff I wanted to clean through too. So as I go through each piece to paint it, I'm going to clean also. So right now, I am working on matching up. These are all empty. They are just the papers, um, because for a while I took all my embossing folders out and just had them blank. And I'm going through and matching up to see what I still have because I'm sure some of these I don't even have anymore. So, uh, yeah, and they all go in this bin, which will also be getting painted. All right, so you can see now we are working on the paper storage. So these four cubbies that are all empty here hold these guys, which have my 8.5 by 11 paper in them. So two of them have already been painted and they're drying, and two more are going to go out. I still have to do, let's see, both of these, which hold my 12 by 12 paper, both of these, which have my cards in them. I need to do my punch storage, need to do my blending brush holder, my ribbon holder. I'm not going to do that one, which I mentioned before. I need to do this box, I need to do this box, and I need to do this. So quite a bit is happening here, but lots is getting organized and it feels so good. All right, so here is where we're at. My desk is a mess, <laughs> filled with stuff. Um, we, so it's Sunday when we are painting all these things. These two items are going to get painted today too, uh, but ribbon is going to wait until tomorrow. Punch storage will wait, and then these two card boxes will wait as well, but you can see I've got all of my paper and everything is just waiting to be all loaded back in. Um, and I also moved my kits down to the bottom right there, and I think that's going to be super, super handy. All right, so here are some of them. They are all dry, these ones, and ready to be moved back in tonight. And then there's some more over here. These ones are all ready to go. And then if we go outside, yeah, I'm wearing socks with my Birkenstocks, whatever. I call it Birkenstocks. Um, these two have been painted and uh, are just drying. They won't be able to go until tomorrow. These drawers all have to be, and then those ones, um, these drawers go in those. That's where my cards are stored. And then these have to, I mean, they got started a little bit, and then we ran out of paint. So you can see a little bit on the front has been done, but we still have to do the sides and do a couple coats on these. All right, so here's the current state. Yikes! Um, yeah, so you can see ribbons gone there. All of these guys are out being painted. Um, so I'm going to be able to move most of them back in. Here's the top here. This is just like nutty. <laughs> this picture frame fell earlier and I um, got really upset because it was right here and it fell and it pushed one of these punches and it hit me in the back. So I uh, yelled a little bit, but it's okay. I'm fine. Um, but anyway, so everything really can be moved back in except the punch holder, which got painted today. Ribbon holder, which is getting painted today, and then these two card boxes, which is which are getting painted today. Um, and so those all have to dry through tomorrow, so I won't bring them in until tomorrow. But all of the rest of this can go back to normal. And I'm going to start right here because these were painted first. So I'm going to start here, work my way through the paper. And then, actually, I think I went all the way through paper, and then I need to go ink and blends. So all of my ink right now, hopefully you're not getting dizzy, all of my ink is back there. All of my blends are in this bucket. This bucket goes there. So yeah, and then I need to figure out my Jeep is now in the way of my stamp sets because I have too many because you all know, if I like it, I buy it. So <laughs> I need to figure out where to put the Jeep <clears throat> because uh, you can see I have two stamp sets laying on top of him because I don't have room for them in there. So yeah, there's that. Oh, and then I need to go through this bin here because I think it's all like old paper and stuff. So I'm going to see what my niece wants in this white bin right here, which you can kind of barely see. That's where I keep all the cards I get. So I just need to tidy that up a little bit too. And then this box is all celebration stuff that has retired.
Okay, so here is day one progress. It looks so nice. My desk is set up a little bit differently now. Um, I moved my blending brushes on here. So this has always been in the middle because it's my staple, right? My ink is my staple. Um, and I used to have this right here and this was right here. And my blending brushes were up here next to the ribbon, but I never used them. So I wanted to move them closer. Um, and then I've got my liquid glue. I still am trying to figure out a good place for that to go. So we'll see my trash can and then my coaster. Again, I'll figure out where it needs to go. Um, over here now I have my bins here. Um, these have always been here, but I think it's a little bit crowded with them. So after I get ribbon storage moved back in tomorrow, I'm going to see. I might keep this bin there, but I might see about like just storing this up on the ledge there. Um, but yeah, so then if I pan over this way. Here, I'm going to zoom out. You can see, oh, it's so beautiful. So this is where I store my thick basic white cardstock, my regular basic white. I've got some cards in here and some random junk in here that I need to clean up for sure. Card boxes will come back in tomorrow. Um, I do kind of need to clean through these. I'll show you inside. I need to kind of clean through these a little bit because I've got, these are my old catalogs, which I like to keep one of each just because it's like fun, like memory. Um, this is other random stuff that I probably don't completely need. And then these are my current catalogs. Um, and I also keep, so these ones don't have like my label on them or anything. The ones that I have with my label, I actually keep in my car. So if I'm on the go and somebody wants one, I can give it to them. And then this one, oh, by the way, I already earned this and it's not a Baltic cruise anymore. It's Norwegian. Um, so thank you for supporting me. But this also just needs a little cleanup, but honestly, it's mostly fine. This is some of my 3D stuff cellophane bags, my magnetic sheets. Those are cool boxes I've gotten from Stampin' Up. These are really, really neat. And I've shown them before, but um, my team is called the Ink Redible Crafters. There you go. You can kind of see Ink Redible. Get it? Incredible Crafters. And they can actually earn those. And they also get to earn like these little pins and stuff too. So that's super, super fun. If you want more information on joining my incredible crafter team, um, make sure you go to join.stampwithmelissa.com. Uh, you do not have to sell or do anything like I do. You can just do it for a hobby and get the discount. And honestly, those are called smart shoppers and that is the best way to go. Anyway, I have some shipping things in here, some uh, paper sleeves, stuff like that. So there's that. Punch storage. Gonna go back to normal. Punch storage will come back in tomorrow. Um, and then I got this little area set up complete with my cute little pins up here. Those are from Kylie and Bruno Bertucci in Australia. How adorable are they? Uh, yeah, and some of my Stampin' Up! event pins there as well. So that's how far I am today. I am done for the day, so we will see what happens tomorrow. Okay, here's a quick update. So Ribbon is in. Look how good it looks. I put it in rainbow order. So I've got um, these two shelves are open and then that is my extra ribbon and then some of the spools I had a lot extra of so I put them in here so because like I don't know why I have so many of these <laughs> probably some sort of ordering mishap anyway then there is my beautiful punches with the beautiful white I love it and then down here on the bottom I've got my card boxes back in here but I still have to fill the cards back into the drawers which isn't like super big deal so I will have to work on that and then it'll be all done all right it's all finished and it's so bright and white and beautiful in here so nothing changed here with the stamp sets or the metals anything here um actually I just said it's finished and I definitely did not go through that <laughs> next on the list anyway but all the painting and most of the organizing is done so I've got ink pad storage you know things are a little bit different on my desk I did move my cut and emboss machine up there just because I it felt really crowded with it being there um but I did leave the dies and embossing folders there how beautiful does this look now okay so this one I got as a gift from a friend with all those punches on it um when her mom passed away she gave that to me and I don't know I just felt weird about painting it so I didn't but now it kind of looks a little bit out of place, although it matches the wood ledge, so maybe we're fine. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments what you think there. Um, but yeah, there's, I don't know if I've shown my new picture right here. Um, that is Stampin' Up's mission, which is love what you do and share what you love. And obviously I love to do that. <laughs> my ledge is all clean and beautiful. This shelf over here is newly refreshed with uh, some, just some organization. 
Um, these guys are all painted. The post-it notes right here tell me what these are for. These ones I actually remember. I've got holiday, Christmas, paper pumpkin, paper pumpkin. So I didn't put post-its on those, but yeah, all my paper is back. This looks like a mess, but again, <laughs> um, drawer and paper here. Punches up there look so good too. So yeah, I love it in white. So thank you so much for watching my little craft room renovation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, a lot of these products I use were from Stampin' Storage or are from Stampin' Storage. A few things my dad built. I did do a big craft room tour back in February or March of 2022. Um, so you can go watch that if you want to see all the ins and outs. Obviously a few things have moved, but not a lot. Um, yeah, the general structure is still the same. Um, but yeah, I've got Ikea, Stampin' Storage, that's most of it. Uh, yeah, and then my dad. <laughs> Thanks to him for being so crafty. Or, um, I should say hardworking or, you know, woodworker. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.